I think I just got really lucky. This is the mold from the shark slicer. Originally those pontoons were about two and a half feet wide and I left the two sides of the mold as separate pieces. So they just have uh, pieces of PVC like this, you know, clamping the two sides together. So that way it would be flexible. And I originally did that thinking I might want to make a wider boat, like a single hull wide boat, right? But if I pull them in, this is almost exactly the shape I want for the boat I'm doing now. Maybe pinch this in a little bit. I can do that just by pushing something in there, like making a little frame to hold it in. And uh, this is the top of uh, one of my other boats that is the width that I want my, my final thing to be. So I just jammed that on top of this. And man, it makes a really nice shape. Up in the front there, I have to put a couple more PVC clamps. But uh, yeah, and there's a little divot here, but that's just because it's leaning against something here. But yeah, when I get this all lined up right and supported, I think it's gonna make pretty much exactly the shape I was going for. And I did do a pretty good job of making this smooth. Yeah. Man, this is gonna save so much time. I'm not sure if I'll use the whole height. I might make it shorter. Although this height is really nice. Maybe I'll make it uh, the, the, the thickness of the walls thick up to there and then the top part will just be, you know, blocking waves and stuff. It won't actually be submerged so that can be thinner so it doesn't have to be as heavy. This is obviously upside down. It just stuck it in there to get the right width. And this this mold is a little bit tricky because I actually have to open the front of the mold, put the fiberglass in there, and then clamp it shut because it it goes right up to a point. Uh, so I, I mean, I could just try stuffing the fiberglass in there, but it's much easier to apply it to one side and then the other side when it's open. Uh, and then quickly clamp it together before it solidifies. And then put a few pieces across like that just for added strength. Oh, that's gonna save me so much time. This is gonna be great. This is longer than I need it to be. So I'll mold two halves. They only have to come up to about there because this top part is about the right length, I think. All right, so this is good shape for the front. Is it good for the back? If I had the the propeller shaft coming right out about here, maybe I can attach the rudder on that part. Maybe I'll do something where I can cut this off somewhere around there. Okay, yeah, when I do the back, sure about this yet but I could get like a PVC pipe cut it in half and just fit it like in here slide it right down and then it would stop with a bit of thickness and then the rudder would go from that thickness down to nothing and then the hinge you know it doesn't have to be paper thin it can be the thickness of that and still be smooth all right, this top piece is 12 feet right up to there. Yeah, uh, it's like almost four meters. So if I did two of those, it'd make it 24 feet, like seven and a half meters. That's a pretty good length. The next question is, at this point right here, is the mold going straight enough this way that when I, I make a piece there, take it out, flip it around and put it here to mold the other piece onto it. Will I be able to get this piece lined up right with the wall so it runs straight into the other piece? And it looks like it's, it's pretty straight through, pretty close. I'm sure it's still coming out a tiny bit, but it's a small enough amount that I should be able to warp the one at this end tiny bit just to force it against the walls to get a smooth transition between halves. Yeah, I think I can totally use this. Oh, it's going to save me so much time. This is going to be good. Man, I can make this right now. No, no, don't rush it. I don't want to mess it up. I need to get some 
I think I want to get some color for my resin. Cause, you know, I don't like doing just clear resin because it's doesn't last in the sun. If I put a bunch of color tint in it, it lasts so much longer. I'd like to get blue. Can I get blue somewhere? I need to go to town. But to go to town, I need the new boat. Oh, there's a hole in my bucket again. Oh, I'm so tempted to just slap some fiberglass in there and make the middle pontoon right now and start on the side ones. But no, I want to do really, really, really good job on this one. All right, let me get this lined up as well as I can. All right, these are the connectors. should constrain this to pretty much the right shape. That one can stay in. These two I'll have to take out while I put the fiberglass in, then put them in 